Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm going to read some about Henry Ward Beecher, a little background, some of his famous statements that he made. This was my friend Paul Mooney, his favorite preacher, at least in antiquity, was Henry Ward Beecher. And this comes from America's God and Country Encyclopedia of Quotations by William J. Federer. Highly recommend the book. Um, I've done a review on it. Uh, he also does like a daily American Minute thing. It's really great, too. So Henry Ward Beecher, 1813-1887, a famous American editor, abolitionist, and clergyman whose influence was powerfully felt across the country. He was born of the famous New England theologian Lyman Beecher, which later, God willing, I want to read some stuff about him, and brother of Harriet Beecher Stowe famous novelist and reformer who wrote the book Uncle Tom's Cabin. Now, I remember they were really saying don't read Uncle Tom's Cabin. Usually when somebody tells me not to read a book unless it's like horribly uh, sexually moral or something like that, I'm like, you know, I'm going to read that book. So I read it and it's like, wow. You know, and so I can see why Abraham Lincoln went up to Harriet Beecher Stowe and said, oh, you're the lady that caused the Great War. Because it showed the absurdity of slavery. It showed how stupid slavery was. And uh, Tom, believe it or not, was this archetype of, of a wonderful Christian, amazing Christian. So over 2,500 people flocked to hear him each week at the Plymouth Church of Brooklyn, New York. Reminds me of like Spurgeon or something, the Metropolitan Tabernacle. And even Moody, man, read Moody's revivals. They were huge. Finney before him, he increasingly used his pulpit to denounce civil corruption, support of women's suffrage, the right to vote, and preach against slavery. Now here's what he said, sink the Bible to the bottom of the ocean, and still man's obligations to God would be unchanged. He would have the same path to tread, only his lamp and his guide would be gone. And the same voyage to make, but the chart and compass would be overboard. Well, I have to admit, that's pretty erudite language and very scriptural, comparing it with Psalm 119, 105. Thy word uh, is a lamp to my feet and light on my path. He also said, if a man cannot be a Christian in the place where he is, he cannot be a Christian anywhere. Now that is a deep, profound thought. And I will probably use that in some counseling. So I'm going to read some more stuff about uh, Henry Ward Beecher, but uh, I'm going to do another video on that. So God bless. Thanks for being here. Share with your friends, family, church family. Let's live for God. Let's make heaven. That's the goal. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.